Welcome back to Endangered Species Spotlight. This week we are talking about the monkey puzzle tree. This is the monkey puzzle tree. It is a type of conifer that is native to the kind of southern Andes area in Chile and Argentina. It's often described as being a living fossil due to the fact that it has changed very little from fossil specimens that have been found in the area. It is grown in multiple other areas of the world as a decorative garden tree. However, it is considered to be endangered and very rare in its local native range. This is for a number of reasons due to habitat loss via logging, although logging has been outlawed in the area for some time now, the habitat was still very much altered by that. There's also been a number of very large fires in the area as well, and that has devastated a lot of the remaining population. Additionally, it's also being outcompeted by invasive trees and grass species, which crowd out the adult trees and stop the seedlings from being able to thrive in the area. Additionally, non-native and invasive animals may have an impact, such as grazing cattle, eating and trampling the seedlings, as well as the seeds themselves. Formerly, the wood was used in woodworking things, but not as much anymore, especially since it is protected in many areas. Some South American indigenous groups consider the tree sacred and do use it for other things, but largely the use of monkey puzzle tree wood has fallen out of favor. Additionally, some indigenous groups also eat the seeds, which are similar to pine nuts. Another threat is overcollection from the native area for things like decorative gardens. People collect the seeds and the seedlings from the native area to grow in other places so they cannot grow where they're supposed to. As for conservation, the monkey puzzle tree is protected in many areas that it's found. It does occur in a couple pr already protected areas that people aren't really allowed to go in and collect from and its use in trade and commercial things like woodworking is relatively restricted, however, in many cases that doesn't stop things like poachers. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of protection right now. I don't know if there's any established greenhouses for growing these in captivity, but hopefully with bigger protections and more research, these guys will still be around for a while.